Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to see um, what error messages that your computer has had recently and also um, you can send them to Microsoft still even if you didn't do that when they actually came up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, down to the start. We're in Windows XP Professional at the moment. Um, you can probably do this in any of the Windows XP's and possibly uh, Vista. Okay, we're going to press on Run. If you were in Vista, you'd have to type Run into the bottom box and then it'll come up. Okay, um, so now we're going to press M, we're going to type in MS Config. M S C O N F I G and then press OK. Right, so now we've got the system utility um, configuration utility box comes up and we are going to um, go to tools which is at the end here. Okay, this tab. Right, now we're going to browse to event viewer. Okay, and what we're going to do is make it blue, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to say launch. Okay, now, <coughs> now we've got these sections here. Now if I press on application, it's going to show me over here um, information, okay. Um, Rightio, now if I double click on it, I get an information box. This is the properties of that okay it says Windows Security Center has started so that's fine okay now here's a warning one here I'm going to click on that it says Windows saved the user um, an application or service was still using the registry during log off okay the memory used by the user registry has not been freed okay etc etc Right, um, now if I go further down I've got some actual errors here. Now if I double click on that, this says um, faulting application Explorer EXE. Okay, and there's the fault address and everything. Right, now what happened is uh, my Explorer crashed. So that was, um, that was actually um, like when the task bar and everything disappears and um, so that's what happened there. Now I can click on here for more information and also I'll just click on it and show you. It says um, event viewer will send the following information across the internet. Is that okay? Now we know it's going to Microsoft because um, I obviously didn't press send to Microsoft when the error happened. Um, I already have sent it now, but we'll press no, okay, but you can do that. Right, so I'll get rid of that and I can go down a bit more and there's another crash. Okay, uh, this one's um, a crash of Dr. Watson, which is the language behind Windows. Okay, what else have we got? another explorer crash um, yeah I, I did have a problem what I did um, I had some problem happening there and instead of fixing it I went and restored my computer to an earlier stage so it worked out fine okay see I had a big problem with the crashing right if I go down further what have I got here uh, this looks like it's something to do with um, AVG which is the antivirus Okay, go down a bit more. Uh, oh, look, it actually absolutely tells you everything in detail. Okay, you wouldn't be missing anything. Um, failed to auto update, etc., uh, etc. Et you can always find your information. Um, now, if I go, that was just in application. Now, if I go to security, there's actually nothing in there. If I go to system, I know there'll be stuff in there again. So we'll quickly scroll down. So you get the picture. Um, let's look at the error. Now I had problems with my network. Now this is amazing because um, it's actually showed me um, exactly what was the problem. The IP address, blah, 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 for the network card with a network address has denied by the DHCP server. 
Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I had heaps of network problems. And it tells me what I actually did. I'll show you down here. Uh, it says I went and um, disabled some services. Okay. So it says AVG email scanner service terminated. AVG manager service terminated. Application layer gateway service terminated unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, it has done this one time. Yep. Okay. Well, you get the picture. Um, you can just go through and here we go. It just tells you absolutely everything that's happened. Uh, I just think it's fantastic. I love it. Um, so this is what the computer IT person looks at. Um, so if you you go to him and you say, oh, I had this error, but I can't remember what it was called, and so he'll just go in there and you know have a look and uh, find out what it was. All right, thanks for listening.